Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about how to get the half-life formula. Okay, so radioactive decay um, is synonymous with the idea of half-life and you may have been taught at GCSE about half-life and then use that to estimate what would happen in between. Now we have been using this formula here which is the nuclear decay formula to more accurately estimate what would happen in between those half-lives. But a half-life is still a relevant measure that we use. So I'm going to show you how you derive it. So half-life is the time it takes for you to lose about half of what you have, exactly half of what you have. So let's say here I have got my starting n is 100% or 100 and we want the time for it to decay to half. Okay, and I want this formula to be related to the decay constant. So I don't know what the decay constant is, but I'm trying to relate this time and time for half-life and decay constant together. So m, of course, would equal half of that, which is 50. And my decay constant is, we'll call it, we'll just call it lambda. And my t, of course, would be something special called t a half. And this is what it's written here. So... Putting this into my formulae, okay, so the formula is n equals n naught e to the minus lambda t. I'm going to put these values in. Whoops, wrong way around. 50 equals 100 times e to minus lambda t a half. Okay, so first of all, I must get this on its own. I can't do any weird logarithm things until it's on its own. So 50 divided by 100 is 0.5. So 50 divided by 100. And then to get rid of this e, I have to log or ln. So I'm going to go ln 0.5 equals e to the minus lambda. Oh. I apologise, it will do, get rid of that E there, minus lambda T a half. Okay. Now, importantly, if you put it into your calculator, what's really interesting is that lin a half, 0.5, also equals minus lin 2. Okay, so you can grab a calculator now and I will as well. So ln 0.5 is minus 0.69314. Okay, so just write up here. Minus 0.69314 keeps going. And minus ln 2, minus ln 2 also equals minus 0.693. Keep going. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this ln 0.5 to minus ln 2, okay, equals minus lambda t a half. And as you can see, these two negatives are going to cancel each other out. So now I have got a formula that I can use to have t a half equals ln 2 over lambda or my decay constant is ln 2 over the half-life and these formulae are found on your data sheets underneath your radioactive um, decay formula here but it's really important you don't really need to know where it comes from however it's very easy to work out and I could have used any numbers I wanted I could have done a thousand and five hundred Basically, the whole idea is that the ratio between here and here is 0.5. So you could have had 5 and 10, you could have had 4 and, uh, four and 2, etc. The ratio between them must be half, so 0.5. And you can put it in and you get this formula here. And from the information from half-life, which you might be able to get from the, your graph, etc. Or from the decay constant, you might be able to work out its half-life, etc. This formula is invaluable, okay? for using other information that you might collect along the way or be given about a radioactive source. So that is how you're able to use this formula here 
to find the half-life or the decay constant, use the half-life to find the decay constant of the material.